Tell me a little bit more about that process. I'm always wondering what happens if someone read all my content. Mm. Cause we don't think that <laughs> we think people just, <laughs> well, most people don't think that it's got their yeah. like, oh, this is just this piece and this user, or this person is going to read it and that's it. But how do they all connect? And so I'm trying to think of the ecosystem of, okay, this is a, we have, if it's just a blog, fine. But what about the support? What about the knowledge base? How do we connect the knowledge base content to the blog? That's why I, I say it's not just marketing. It's, it's just content as a whole. And then I have to think about the people who are doing the sales, the customer su uh, success. Like we have to provide enablement to them as well. If they're talking to the customer in one way, and then I'm, I have a post and a case study that mentions the product in a different fashion, everybody's confused. So I'm having to constantly bring in stakeholders at the, at the initial stage of my content strategy, because I don't know who, how are people talking? So setting those tone and style guidelines that are not just editorial, but for the entire organization so that they understand how we're going to move forward. Since we're talking about audience, audience segmentation, I would prefer a failed attempt at it and to get the reader to see what, because as humans, we like things that fail. <laughs> and so they'll grab their attention um, and then they also learn a lesson behind it. 